Hello Aries, it's Al here to do your August 20, this is the love messages, I think I've done your August 2019 reading. These are the love messages from your partner, whomever you're coming to the reading for. This is a dark video because my lights are turned out, I'm going to sleep after this, I'm not turning the light on. So, if you don't like dark videos then sorry. Um, yeah, so let's get started. Uh, thank you, Lord God, for blessing these cards. Blessing Aries with the message. What's going on with Aries? Significant other. Whomever Aries is coming to the reading for. What's the energy for the person that Aries is coming to the reading for? How does this person feel? Feel about Aries. Alright, so how does this person feel about Aries? Okay, how does this person feel about Aries? How does this person feel about alright? So we have the ace of air first out of the deck. This person feels like in order to have victory with you or a new start with you, you guys need to communicate. There may be lack of communication. Communication may be non-existent. There also may be someone here who feels like they, uh, in order to have, they feel like if they talk to you, if, if they can have that communication with you, they can also cut something else out of their life. It's like a double edge here, double edged sword, to where it gives them a new, it gives, it, it allows them to sever tie and go into new beginning with you, possibly Aries. Um, how does this person feel in regards to Aries? What are their intentions with Aries? What's this person? Okay, wow. Two, I thought that was the Ace of Fire. Two of Fire. So, this person, like I said, this is a person who wants to have communication with you. Two of Fire, or two of Rods, or two of um, Staffs, or whatever you call it. Whatever you want to call it. Um, this is a person who's at a crossroads. This is a person who says, if only I know, or if only I knew how Aries felt about me, then I can um, make a move, maybe in the direction of the Aries. I can then know what I need to do to get closer to or to stay on the same path, depending on how the Aries feels about me with this Ace of Air. Um... Uh, Yeah, this person, and this person may feel like you're at a crossroads too. They may energetically feel like you're at a crossroads. Like they don't know exactly what's going on in your life. But they know that they can't f energetically feel you anymore. Like they could feel your energy. They could talk to you, have conversation with you, and you guys not even be close. Um... This person feels like it's almost make it or break it. Yeah, two of water. So another two cards. So this person feels like this is also a person who is questioning your habits, maybe your everyday habits, your work ha ethic. Something you do on a daily basis. Your routine. This person may feel as if you're very structured, Aries. Yeah, this card just fell out. Ace of Air. I mean, Ace of Fire. I knew it was coming out. 
this person also may feel like um, this is a mutually beneficial relationship because there's a lot of structure that comes with you. There's also a lot of chemistry here. Um, they feel like if they just knew how you felt about them, they could choose you or go to the or go towards that path of being with you because it seems like it's a more calm road, a more calm journey with you. But there's separation here. Um, they also either they may feel as if fear of committing to this relationship to a particular path hasn't gotten you what you wanted from them you may always be or you may have been if this is a person you have history with the person who got fed up and just left not thinking about the fact that this person loves you you love them there's still a connection you were just done and over it it may be acted on impulse a lot and, and just ended the relationship for that moment but you guys got back together eventually so it says that uh, fear of, of committing to this particular path see this fear of commitment that they're saying you have Aries is because you didn't want to commit to a path where there was more than just you and this other person it was a third party situation so you weren't willing to commit to something where you felt like maybe in the long run the end game the end goal end result of this you were going to get burned you were going to get the short end of the stick so you always bowed out or you always bow out because that's easier to do than commit to um an outcome that you don't know but it says fear of commitment ha ha um, is why you haven't gotten to where you want to get maybe with this particular person so that's how they feel about you they feel like you um it's a mutually beneficial relationship they want to move toward you they also want to speak some truth they want to know exactly how you feel they they are concerned about their health wealth and happiness with you in regards to you um let's see one more card but they they feel like you won't be stable or you're not stable but in in the defense of this person what i'm seeing this aries is how can you be committed to a relationship where you're not first you're second or maybe even third or whatever but you're not first so it is easy for you to walk away from something that you feel as if in the long run you won't get what you're looking for some of you are dealing with somebody who has more than one person of course like i just said someone who who has a love a likeness a, a fondness for you but they also have an affinity for wanting to be single and having that autonomy of doing it exactly what they want to do so it could be the adverse too yeah the double card it says that So we have a decision and then we have a choice and it's exactly what I was saying because this person wants you to commit to commit to make the choice to be in a relationship where you're not the only person right now you're not the 
the only person that they're giving their energy effort time to they want you to just be happy with the fact that they love you they like you there's a lot of fondness here you guys have a good time when you have a good time and what they do outside of you you need to not be concerned with that's for some of you some of you there's somebody who want who wants to return to you or will return to you and they they want you to make the decision to commit to basically a third party situation that might be based in sex with the devil card and the ace of fire here um this card says that um you have to be concerned about the choice that you make make sure that your choice is not um It's not based in extravagance because it's money here with the, the two twos here. Extravagance is not always like, oh, okay, um, more so the, the tangible, but the, you can make an extravagant choice or you can think extravagantly to almost where it's, um, it's fantasy it says that don't let your your choice be so based in extravagance that you make the choice that will lead you to a dead end or lead you to feeling enclosed entrapped because that's what the devil is about is about entrapment um, in a situation that won't yield you exactly what you you want this is a yeah this is a tough situation so this person feels like you you won't commit to maybe just a sexual or physical relationship this person feels like you won't commit to this third party what I'm hearing is they're they're like trying to tell you it's not always going to be like this this could be a water sign air, air sign fire sign capricorn I, 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 don't get too hung up on the signs but it's like this person is saying well look it's not always going to be like that you know i'm trying to do this i'm trying to do that i'm really trying to change my situation i just need you to be focused on us and commit to the fact that i'm doing what i can do and you just need to hold me down and just be there for me and uh, and be there for our situation but at the same time the Aries is thinking about what if I do commit to this and I don't get what I want you know a choice here so that's how this person is viewing you non-committal um, they also don't know they some of them can't read you the people that you're not in contact with this is for my Aries who are not in contact with um, a significant other uh, they want to know if it is okay to come back towards you okay so Aries how do you feel about this situation judgment so we get the judgment call um, you feel like Aries feels like this is the this is the prime time for me to change a specific aspect of my lifestyle. The past is now kind of releasing its hold on me and I need to live in the present. And in the present, it may be, you fill in the blank, it may be that this is a third party situation I need to walk away from. If this person wants to be with me, they'll clear up their life and then come back to me a single person. Or it may be, you know what, I'm, I'm going to deal with this person. I'm going to ride with them. They say that they're making all the strides to become single or to do whatever it is they need to do to be with me. So I'm going to, I'm going to be there. But it's asking you to be final and definite in your decision making because 
in the past is the past live in the present so now you can shape your future all right so how does aries feel aries feels like yeah they're making a choice the love the lovers we have two the the temptation cards of 15 but you add one and five that's six so and it's about a choice so six card yeah uh Aries knows that they have to make a choice about a, a, a partner. They have, they have to make a, a life-altering choice. What they what they love over what is best for them. Maybe even over career or what you love to do in regards to a career. Um, some of you may work with this person or they they play a big part in your work. Some of you feel like you need to you don't want your 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 choice to be made in the physicality or, or thinking about the physicality of this relationship the, the sex or whatnot um let's see some of my cards and this wax oh. six of air all these sixes wow this is definitely about choices, Aries, because it is that devil energy is a choice. Like you can choose, like you have to choose to be in a lower vibrational situation, whether it's a relationship, friendship, job. It's a choice. The devil energy doesn't just find you and jump on you and ride your back. You, it actually presents itself to you, right? And it looks good. It's shiny. It's fun. It's flamboyant. It's new. It's extravagant. Um, it's all of the things that feed, you know, those good, those endorphins in the brain, where it's like, oh, this is this has to be for me, or at least I want to partake in it, you know. It's very carnal in nature. So you, so the devil energy is a choice. So it looks like there's an Aries who's at a place of having to make a choice in regards to um, love and career. What you love to do, your career. But this is love messages. So we're going to stick to love. But So some of you have to make a choice. Um... In regards to what what will bring you peace, what you you have to make peace with, uh, uh, or be able to make peace with a decision and then a choice. Um, you have to analyze this situation in regards to the sense of usefulness. And fitness in your life how does this fit in your life um, you have to analyze this systematic thinking or the system that you may be a part of or you have created for yourself in your life what do you do systemically you know that you do uh, unconsciously uh, in regards to a significant person in regards to a significant relationship the sun it says that things will be illuminated to you in regards to um an ending or a, a, a beginning or a, the culmination of also in regard in regards to a, a beginning with an ending there is a beginning it, it says that some new friendship or relationship so Aries you may have something old and new here uh, some new friendship some new relationship will bring about wish fulfillment and happiness and contentment 
wow the ten of earth yeah so it'll bring about a lot of abundance maybe even stature fame re uh, a reputation your reputation will be elevated long-term goals we just talked about that um this is the masculine energy so it could you could be same sex you could be dealing with the masculine energy in regards to um another this could be some male coming in where um it could be new in nature is this new yeah page of earth says I myself himself something about something new starting queen of, of air some of you could be divorcees you could be taking money the children and starting over elsewhere you may be saying you know my stability is elsewhere I have to start elsewhere um, you could be getting some really good advice or giving really good advice taking the opinions of others in account but still doing exactly whatever it is you want to do some of you could be, be making plans in secret in regards to a relationship, a contractual agreement, a marriage. Uh, you could be, um, there could be drama and conflict in regards to the resolve of a marriage, some contract or a relationship. And you're trying to just get what it is you can get from it because worrying about the connection any longer is going to is is not is non-existent you now have to it's about fighting to get whatever you can get out of this relationship now it's about the fact that no no one or no side wins here for some of you Aries, this is all over the place. Some of you could be receiving money from someone you have a child with. Or you were in court about or trying to get money from. I don't know. What are the intentions, if any... for Aries from this significant other. Does this significant other have any intention for Aries? Five of clubs in the reverse. Okay. So if it's upright it would it would be new love, new marriage. In the reverse um, they're not trying to be cornered in regards to having something traditional and stable and structured. Uh, they may be altogether wanting to partake in a lot of romance and maybe even a love affair or drama. Okay. Three of diamond in the reverse. Uh, this person doesn't feel any regret <clears throat> or resentment in regards to this maybe a third party situation or um, the fact that they aren't trying to really have any stability in this connection Jack of Diamonds in the playing card deck, deck talks about a dishonest a disloyal and untrustworthy person so this person don't doesn't really have a lot of good intentions for you it's like like I said before they want you to commit to a devilish situation the devil card they want you to commit to maybe a third-party situation 
wow six of six of hearts in the reverse six of hearts upright says the good samaritan the soulmate just all together good energy a sense of usefulness and togetherness and fitness and health in the reverse is all of those things this person is not even trying to make a choice in regards to how they feel about you and maybe someone else or something else that they're involved in um, they don't find the fact of maybe being committed to you or making a choice they don't find that it's it's useful for them uh, this person is not good it's not a good Samaritan they, they're out to get whatever it is they can get from a connection however they can get it uh, king of spades upright it could be um, Gemini Libra Aquarius this is typically Aquarius or Libra uh, this could be a very skilled person this could be someone who does skilled work this could be someone who is a doctor a lawyer they they this is someone who continually perfects they have a learned skill and they have to continually perfect that skill this is a uh, why wow, I'm hearing a mathematician um, you can have this in your chart Aries Sagittarius I mean Aquarius Gemini Libra or this could just be your energy or this could be the energy of the other person this could say that this person is more so concerned about strategically and methodically getting what it is they want they're very direct maybe they have been direct with you Aries they have not held back in regards to what it is they want from you or what it is they expect of you five of swords or five of spades in the upright says that in dealing with this person if you do deal with them the intentions or lack thereof they have for you is a lot of drama is a lot of childish behavior a love affair that you will be involved in there'll be some romance because this is what this person wants but there is no commitment there is no building toward anything solid or stable uh, they are not taking your heart into account but more so your body let's get some advice for the Aries what's the advice for the Aries four of clubs this talks about the unforeseen the unexpected event that happens maybe around home family roots children home definitely or someone you have those things with ace of diamond upright something unexpected it's like maybe a shit storm happens with somebody who doesn't mean you well then the ace of diamond talks about an engagement ring a new home a new car moving in together some big gesture some big you know tangible act act that you guys can build upon um there might be someone in your energy wow queen of diamond upright uh that there's probably someone else like i said there's some someone new here and then there's somebody old someone who views you as maybe the quintessential ideal wife you might be the working mother um you're beautiful like rachel in the bible here with the queen of diamonds um this is this is good you like luxury it says stop gossiping. I don't know where that comes from. Two of diamond in the reverse. Two of pentacles in the reverse. It says. Um, you might be coming out of this love affair. Or this business relationship. That is not good for you. That is not feasible. That will not yield you. What it is you want. 
this is good Aries this is good advice this is very 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 good nine of spades the ending of a tough situation and it might hurt low energy uh, extreme pain and maybe in regards to separation from this person that that's going to end pretty soon yeah seven of spades in reverse uh, seven of spades upright talks about the loss of burden to carry loss of friendship tell me why the seven of spades is in reverse six of spades in reverse Something in regards to relationship and control. It's like Aries, you know that something isn't good for you and you know that it needs to end, it needs to die. But you feel like with this ending, with this death of, that you're losing something of value. But you're really not. Um you just like this person a lot you may even like the sex and that may, may may have your mind a bit boggled right now yeah but it said yeah you you just keep thinking about this um there's gonna be cancellation here and reversal once again somebody's not making a, a choice to come out of a situation or, and choose a path one path this is a person who's okay with giving the two paths there may be trouble in an existing relationship but they're still there um this is a person only concerned about their health wealth and happiness this is a person who their god conscious is off wow just heard that like in regards to sometimes when you do stuff that you know isn't right or you're hurting someone or you can see that someone is hurting so so then you kind of reflect you kind of check yourself and you kind of bow out because you you feel like you this is this is not right no that person doesn't do that their god conscious is off this person is all for about self Right. So Aries, there might be some unexpected money. Once again, the Ace of No, that was in another reading, but the Ace of Hearts in reverse. It's like unrequited love. It's like you you like the situation more, or somebody has more like or love for for the other. It might be baby news or good news that comes in about an ending. Maybe Aries, eventually you get what you want. But well, right now in the present, this person is not making any choice to come towards you, to be with you. Um no real longing for you i'm not doing an extended reading but i am doing five dollar one questions so the extended read is two dollars and 25 cents you can ask your own specific question for five dollars and get you get cards pulled ex specifically for you and not get the extended reading where you have to kind of guess if this message is for you so take advantage of the five dollar one question one answer reading it will come to you via email um you'll see the cards pull and you can always reference that you'll it, it's always yours it's always in your email so take advantage of that especially if you feel like this is your story it sucks and maybe you may be dealing with somebody who's pretty much out for self right now it may turn around or you have someone new coming in that you need to give or you have someone in your energy that you need to give a lot more uh attention to yeah opportunity here because uh they may be better for you and not this person that you feel a lot of carnality and a lot of uh, sexual chemistry toward which is good 
wow you have a no answer you know here on the channel at the channel we clarify clarify our yes and no answer so I will clarify that no answer for you one more for the Aries let go wow if this isn't telling Aries I don't know what is and then it just says wait because it looks like you have some really good energy coming in for you around you it's just that um, <clears throat> you have to know that it's coming for you um, and, and don't get bogged down in <clears throat> excuse me in energy that is not for you it's not good for you it may be fun fun while it lasted you know you had a lot of fun times a lot of good sex maybe even some trips here and there but this energy is not going to get you where you want to be or, or get you to what you want and then it might be the question of asking yourself what what is it that I want you know if you're good with with whatever you have then by all means have fun so there's no answer what do you have to say? okay no magician starman so the magician is about manifestation it's about the idea oh ooh, and this can sometimes be Aries so whatever idea you have in regards to trying to make this situation come together I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing with you. The The cards are saying no. It's not going to manifest. Maybe not right now. Let me pull one more card. Four of Pentacles. No manifestation of stability of title of status of roots of a home of a family of children of motherly energy here maybe with this person it's none of that justice it says in the present See, this talks about a debt being repaid. Maybe this was just a karmic relationship with that devil card. So you had to pay off that karmic energy. Maybe, you know, past life, this life. Maybe it was just you paying it forward karmically, right? Get clear in your karma. Get into a place where now spirit, universe can use you. You've learned your lesson. And they can move you into a better place. Also talks about getting a piece of good advice right now. Because you really think that you're about to manifest something real and stable with someone that can't give you that. Nine of Cups. Nice. Um, says, yeah, after this repayment of debt and or good advice given to you, you can get what it is you want, what you wish for. Make a wish. It could very well come true. Okay, Aries, take advantage of the yes or no question. If you feel like this reading is for you, I would get the yes or no $5 question. Is this person good for me? Drop the first name to me. You know, is Charles good for me? Will Char Charles and I have a long relationship? Is this a karmic relationship? Um yeah questions of those natures just so you can gain a bit more clarity so that you can let go if this reading is for you if it's not then great you know all right aries know that i'm praying for you pray for me as well take care bye